Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It's Angela and I am here with a little different view for a Thrifted Treasures, which is hosted by Dale at Not Too Shabby Chic. And I just wanted to show you one stop, one thrift shop, and what I found. And I thought this would be much easier than me going through things one at a time. So I'll just kind of tell you, um, I went to the store and I was just kind of taking my time. I went because I, it was a yellow day and that meant that that uh, wedding gown that I wanted was half price. So I headed there first, which is totally opposite of the direction that I normally, normally go. Picked up the wedding gown I wanted and then I started on my regular route. So I found a little bundle of doilies for a dollar. I hesitated whether to pick them up, but I had to do it um, for a dollar. And everything that was, there were, they had two color tags. They had an orange and yellow that were both 50% off. So I did pick up these straws uh, because I want the red and white ones for a Christmas project DIY I'm working on. And then I found this little roll of corrugated tape, it says, but I don't know that it's tape, but I don't know. And it was kind of slim pickings, and I wasn't really finding anything. And then I went to the Christmas section, and this is an Anna Griffith, Griffith box, and it is full to the brim of card bases. I mean, full. And I was like, wow, it was $5. It was not on sale, but I thought, okay, these would be great to add to the Christmas bundles. They'd be great for Happy Mail, for in um, toppers for my gifts. And um, then I headed to the craft section, and it started with all of these. So I there, I think there's 25 different designs. That's my pile right there. Uh, there were I was not going to go through it every single one of them, but they're beautiful. And I am planning on doing, Dale, um, as I've told her, uh, Friendship Friday next week. So my plan is I have two special recipients. And so everything that I've got here, I'm going to put together bundles for those special people and maybe a few more, I'm just saying. Uh, so I found the Christmas cards. I thought that was great. Then I found these and... I then went and found, in same aisle, these two boxes. Now, I always, like, touch the boxes to see, assuming they're empty. And when these were heavy, I was like, what the heck? Now, I, I really looked at them because I thought the boxes were cute. But this is full. Somebody went to all of the work of organizing these. They may have come pre-cut. I'm guessing, I don't know if she was a designer of some sort, but it is full of blanks. And then this one was where I got really tickled. Let me move. Hang on, kids. Hang on, friends. This is where I got really tickled. I got such a mess. I have an auction haul I need to do, too. Uh, but look at these all full of shabby chic. The whole thing. And they're all Anna Griffin. Griffins from Atlanta, Georgia. Let's just look at that. I couldn't even help myself. I was like, oh my goodness. And it's chocked full. So those are all papers. And then look at these. I mean, it's unbelievable. Those are all card bases. And then these are all what she's calling layers. I'm not a card maker. But, man, I can make some journal cards out of these, that's for sure. So, I thought, what a perfect way to kick off Friendship Friday and Thrifted tre Treasures and join Dale. And then I'm also going to do uh, she and Pam. You know Pam Van E. She actually does Dusted Off Doers Overs with me. Uh, they are doing Fire Fryle? Fire. Fryle. File folder 
Friday. And so I thought I was going to try to do them all together, but I don't think that's going to work. But I do have my, uh, my project for file fo folder Friday. So I got those. Now, then I went, now some of these you're going to, I'll just kind of go through these um, one by one. So I picked, I had left a bunch of those behind. Um, and then I found these and I'm like, this just keeps getting better and better. These are all three dimensional. Well, these aren't three dimensional stickers. There's three of those. Everything was 50 cents, a dollar or $2 I, besides the boxes. Uh, that's how much everything was. So I just did a scoop. These are borders. Let's see. Let's just go through this. This I found up at the front of the store. It was a quarter. And isn't that cute? It's got the little tea time piece, but I thought it would be cute for that uh, baby book that I'm doing kind of cottage tea, shabby chic-ish. Um, so I picked that up. It, like I said, it was a quarter and I bought one other one that was had some New York. And these are just, what does it say? Fancy pants. Oh dear, patterned envelopes and folders. And this is what's on there. So I bought a bunch of stuff. And then the next day I had to run some errands and take some things to the post office. So I went back and then I ended up getting um, more stuff. So I got those on the first day. These are wooden cameras. There's a bunch of wooden pieces. Uh, let's see. Those are ATC, wooden ATC cards. More wooden ATC cards. Uh, let's see. These were my favorite. The dress forms. These little flourishes, corner flourishes. There were three of those. I didn't really mean to get the rocking chair, but hey, maybe we'll put a person in there. A frame. Another corner. And then these uh, really cute, shabby chic. Uh, I think they're just vellum. Oh, they're stickers, vellum quote stickers. So all of that. And then there was a couple of random bags. So this one is full of, there's some frames in there. Just a bunch of various goodness. Um, this was the same, it was more Christmas related. And now I'm running out of room. Oh, I did pick up some napkins. How much were these? 50 cents. And then I won't pull all of these out, but there are, let me move these aside. One, two, three, four. Four of these, they're um, window cutout cards and envelopes. Then there's one, I don't know. I don't know what these are. I'm assuming just either just envelopes or just cards. Oh, they're cards. Uh, this was envelopes. Five by seven envelopes. These are pre-scored card blanks. So I got one, two, three of those. I did get these and I feel like, I don't know, I need to look. I don't think I have these, but if I do, they'll be gift gifted on. And these, I I don't know if I'm going to keep them or not. They're cool. I mean, they're spell binders and they're um, the pots. So I got all of those. And then let's go back here. Uh, oh, here was another little random pack with some cutouts. Another one of those. I found a little sewing piece. I'm making a huge mess. I thought it would be easier to show you this this way. This is full, and these are like, um, gosh, I don't know, acrylic or acetate or something. But they've got designs on them. I don't know. Maybe we'll pull that open. And then these are all die cuts. Very French inspired. And there were all of these wooden tickets. Look at these. 
loved those. And then, oh, here's some more. And then the wooden picket fence. So that was, is that everything in there? Yes. Um, I kind of want to pull this open. I don't think I can do it one-handed. We'll see. I'll leave it here. Oh, and then one, on the second day that I went back, I picked up these little wooden pieces as well. So then, uh, the same day, the first day, I went and these were like on the side with all the like office supplies. They're the grunge papers. They're all the same, but they've got kind of a cool texture. Uh, they're six sheets and they're kind of almost like you could use them maybe for like a base of a card. So they're we're one, two, three, four, five of those, and some just antiqued paper. That's what it's called. This is by Ro Relico Antique Paper. It's eight and a half by 11. And then I found this. And as you know, I'm working on that baby book that is a full size, it's going to be a big old journal. And this is brand new for $5. I loved the color of blue. And I thought, well, that needs to be transformed too. So I did got that. And then they had all of these. And I generally do not look in the, like, I mean, I look. I glance at the scrapbook paper. But I just didn't, I don't really need a ton of it. And usually what it is is stuff that, like, I would probably have donated so I, I just don't spend a lot of time there. Um, but this time I thought what, after finding all of the things that I found, I was like, whew, uh, but look at all of, all of those journal cards. So now you see why it was an easy decision on what I was going to do for Friendship Friday, because this is too much goodness to not share with everybody. Uh, I just, I was blown away. And the gal just kept bringing stuff out. And I was like, is this, this is like too good to be true. And when I saw the prices, I was like, whoa, okay, grab it. And then I did grab this little thing, letter holder. Uh, and then I stuck all of these. I didn't buy it. We just stick all these in there. But uh, this is just, this is solid core. So what that means is when... When you rip it here, you can tell on here. When you rip your paper, it's going to be the same color as the color of paper you're ripping. So a lot of times you'll see white core. This is just the opposite. Then there were some random pieces that were just out there and about. And this is, it's called Lyric. I'm assuming these were from like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or somewhere. Um, here's the Anna Griffin, Griffin ones. Oh, these just have my heart. I can't even, and there were two packs of those. Um, oh gosh, I put too many things in there. <laughs> Hang on. There's this one. And what I loved is they're all two, you know, a lot of them are all, are two-sided, so... This is my mind's eye, and it was six bucks at Hobby Lobby. I mean, I guess somebody could have got it on sale, but this is Cigar Boss Secrets. This is Prima, again. But but what are the chances that like the colors, the you know themes? Unless it were retro, that would be the only other thing that like you know the kind of kitschy colors would be have been the only thing that would have been just as made me just as happy but all of these are things I can actually use which means that I'm going to have to purge through some of the things that I don't need but I loved them and then this was from archivers it's called a calendar collection and I don't know if you can tell I didn't take it out this it was a no, originally $13 and it was a dollar. But can you see those lines on there? So what I'm assuming is these all pop out of here. And then you have the reverse. Let's just 
take one out. So see, then this just pops. Well, does it? Oh, no, you have to cut it out. But still, they've drawn it on there. And so they must have had some kind of calendar book that it went with. So on the second day when I went back, um, oh, and then what, wait, before that, two things I bought. So I bought, I picked up, I picked this one up on day two, but I thought it would be great for farm journals, for my equestrian journal. So I got that one. And then this one I got on the first day because I'm working on those cookbooks and I thought, well, this is perfect. It's DCWV Spiced Cider Stack. And this has got some cool texture to it, to some of the pages too. That's got some gold. Somebody used that. But it's got some, and it's got, like that's a little shiny and then some of them are glittery, some of them are flat. There's a little fall one. You know, I don't know, have any idea how old these are, but I know they're, they've probably been around for a while. So then um, I got this bundle. It was not out the first day I was there. It was just in this case, pretty pattern cards and layers. So I don't even have to um, label. It's all been done for me. I, it's it, mind blowing. Uh, then I bought... Uh, I was looking at the cards, and I'm assuming the same person that donated, donated, I know that's a glare, all of these cards, so I bought a few. I mean, there were tons. Um, but they're already finished, and I'm not a card maker, so there we go. I got some Christmas cards that I can put in, again, in the, in the bundles. And then this, this is interesting. This is not old. Uh, it is, it's a replica. And that's all the writing that's in it. It's called, uh, well, it's by Borum and Pease. And it's just a blank journal. And it looks, it looks very much like, you know, a, long, a big, long ledger. So I don't know. I'm probably going to sell this one because I think, I personally think this would be cool if somebody journal journaled and just, did a, you know, daily journal just like this. But you could certainly not feel bad if you took this apart and made it into something else. So that is everything. Now, the challenge is to put it away. Where am I going to put all this? I do not know, but I will figure it out. <laughs> uh, so thanks for coming along. I, you know, it's kind of this stuff doesn't happen very often, and when it does, you know, you get excited to be able to, you know, share your finds with, with others and to be able to, you know, send on random acts of kindness and happy mail. So, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I certainly had fun shopping for it. The only thing that could have made it better was shopping with someone else. So, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and thank you, Dale, for hosting Thrifted Treasures and Friendship Friday. Have a great weekend, and we will see you next time. Remember to take time to just be. Cheers.